Stands on golden sand and watches the ships that go sailing. Hello, welcome to the Pedcast. It's the end of May, and it's a beautiful day here. Pedcast this month being broadcast from my home county of Norfolk. Where else? This is the Norfolk Coast Path as you might have guessed. And it's on the outskirts of one of my favourite towns called Sheringham. One of my favourite towns in the UK, that is. It's here in Norfolk that inspired me to love the natural environment, to get outdoors and study it, to follow on that study, to do geography at undergraduate level, and then finally, to study soil science. It's this place which I always will call home. Happy will be beyond the sea And never again I'll go see I live and work in Lancaster, just a stone's throw away from the Lake District. But it wasn't the Lake District that captivated me when I was little. It was growing up on a patchment quilt off Norfolk farmland, stitched together by the hedgerows that first fueled my affinity towards nature. It was here, in the heart of the Norfolk Broads, that I fostered a relationship with the rural landscape. Over time, as I was introduced to the perils of erosion and land degradation at school, college and university, this relationship was moulded into one of care and preservation. I found myself not simply loving the countryside, but defending it, wanting to protect it, as any steward would. My first encounter with soil science was not in Norfolk, but in southern Spain. But it was here, just a few hundred metres from my house, that I conducted my undergraduate dissertation, a study into the effects of tap roots on soil erosion. So, what started out as an earthy playground became an outside laboratory and now it's a place I love to return to. It was simply an inspiration. Well, Norfolk inspired me to get outdoors and study the soil. Which place inspired you to take up soil science? You can email me at the podcast student at soils.org.uk